welcome back to the channel. I've updated my HBG spread set, my LBGs, and we've got a damn good sexy HBG for stickies. The 13.0 patch is great, and now in this video, I'll show the changes I've made with my HBG shield peer sets. We're going to start off with our non-tenderized sets for the lazy peeps. We've got a big upgrade. The lazy kadachi set which I made before which was centered on latent power is now replaced with max might. Which means no more waiting. Once you fire that kadachi, you'll be dealing crits. The augments you'll be running with this gun will be full attack. For the custom upgrades, make sure the first 5 upgrades be devoted to affinity and the rest to attack. To check if your upgrades are correct, your Kadachi's affinity should be at 20%. Next up would be a lazy approach for the Staffy Snipe Cannon. Now, hear me out, I know, there's weakness exploit there, I can explain. Believe it or not, this is already a min-maxed approach. This is the setup I have found that can work with Guard 5 still intact. Agitator when active gives you 20%, Maximum Might gives you 40%, Attack boost gives you 5% and your gun gives you another 5% affinity. Add all those up, you'll get 70%. Weakness exploit gives you 30% when hitting a weak spot. That isn't tenderized. Add all those up and you'll get that juicy 100% affinity without tenderizing. Now the gun augments can be double attack or one attack in health. It's up to you. And of course, the tenderized approach would be the ones that deal better damage. That's a no-brainer. Do note that from guard 5, I decreased this one to guard 3 to make way for other damage boosting skills. The only reason why I wanted guard 5 on a non-tenderized set is because they rely on max might. And I want the stamina gauge to be up immediately after guarding so we don't lose crit. But it's up to you. If you feel really uncomfy with guard 3, then just exchange the two vitality jewels with guard jewels and just settle for health boost 1. This set will fully shine once you use a glider mantle with 1 Fuhrer plus 4 deco and 1 agitator plus 4 deco to have both those skills maxed out. Same gun augments and custom upgrades like the last build. Now for the Safi Snipe Cannon, it's looking sexy. You'll be able to max out Agitator and Resentment while having Mind's Eye. This is Guard 3 once again, but if you want, you can sacrifice Health Boost 3 and easily turn it into Guard 5 with Health Boost 1. Your choice. Gun Augments as well is your choice to make. You can go 1 attack and 1 health or full attack. Now if you want to pump up more DPS, here's the Shieldless build. No evade window 5 though, just evade window 3. And for the custom mods for the gun, you can either go 2 close range, 1 long range, scope and barrel, or 3 reload assist, scope and barrel. Having a CR mod and long range mod for sure would give you more damage. But that is considering if you can proc it most of the time. If you can't, I would advise just sticking to 3 reload assist so that you have fast reload on pierce 3. Now to avoid confusion, here's the ranking of the sets in terms of damage potential among the shield HBG peer sets. Number 1 would be the Tenderizer Safi Snipe Ken. Second is the Tenderizer Kadachi. Third is a non-Tenderizer Safi Snipe Cannon. Fourth is a non-Tenderizer Kadachi. You might be asking, Hang, if the Snipe Cannon wins over the Kadachi, why did you even put the Kadachi there in the build in the first place? The reason why I wanted Kadachi to be there is because it's easy to use, alright? It doesn't have any deviation, it has none. So if ever you try and fire this HPG, your reticle doesn't move and it feels great. You have lower damage, fine. But it feels so easy to use. And if ever you have questions why the Safi Snipe Cannon beats the Kadachi, even though it has attack up level 4 as an augment, the reason for it is because the Kadachi in a 3 shield setup cannot accommodate a CR mod. The Safi Snipe Cannon can because you can just put the Awakened Skill Recoil Suppressor on the gun. And that CR mod is an easy 20% damage boost. And that is why the Safi Snipe Cannon wins over the Kadachi even though the Kadachi has bigger role. So those are my edited peer sets. You're going to enjoy taking on Savage Joe, Runa Nerg, Namiel, and Seeding Basil with it. Have fun. If the video helps, please leave a like on the video. And if you're not subscribed, subscribe. It's going to help the channel in a huge way. That's all for now, guys. See you in the next video.